let us start the second cycle experiments and the first experiment under the second cycle is measurement of resistance and inductance of a choke coil by 3 voltmeter method now first let us see the panel so this is the panel where we will be conducting this experiment so you are going to measure the resistance and inductance of a choke coil see here this is the representation of a choke coil and these are the terminals provided so you can measure the choke coil between uh, its resistance and inductance value between these two terminals that means we are measuring the inductance and resistance of the complete choke coil you can observe here there is a middle uh, tapping given here so this can be used so if you connect between these two you can get only the half value of inductance or half value of resistance okay so for our experiment let us not use this terminal so we will do the connections only between these two so that we can find the resistance and inductance of the complete choke coil and so here we are giving the single phase AC supply just look to the uh, circuit all of you so we have taken the single phase AC supply phase and neutral and see here we have connected what is this this is uh, written as variac so it is nothing but an auto transformer so the purpose of auto transformer is to apply the variable supply so you can vary the supply from 0 to 230 volts see usually a single phase AC supply means 230 volts okay so if you want to get a supply from 0 if you need, if you need to vary a vary the supply then you should use this auto transformer where you can vary the input supply from 0 to 230 volts so i will show you here so this is the auto transformer auto transformer is inbuilt so we have provided a knob okay so by varying this knob you can vary the amount of voltage you are applying to the circuit so like this so initially it will be kept at zero position and usually the voltage is a single phase voltage is 230 volts so we will apply slowly up to 230 volts maximum voltage to be applied is 230 volts okay now see here the connections so from the single phase supply let us see first the series connection so you have many you have a resistance here you have a choke coil here you have some voltmeters here okay so whenever we start our connections let us do first the series connection okay and because we are using here a single phase ac supply current through the circuit will be more so that is why we use thick wires for that so this is the thick wire okay so we use thick wires for series connection okay so whenever you are connecting these resistances and choke coil you need to connect with this thick wires whenever we do this voltmeter connections voltmeters are connected across the elements such as resistance or choke okay so these voltmeters can be connected by using these thin wires so these are the thin wires these are the thick wires so thick wires are used because it carries it has a capability to carry more amount of current whereas thin wires have the capacity to carry only small amount of current okay so whenever you do the connections in single phase or three phase circuits you should know where to connect these thin wires and where to connect these thick wires okay you should differentiate so remember all the series connections should be done with this thick wires and only the voltmeter connections wherever you are connecting the voltmeters so that should that can be done with this thin wires okay the circuit connections so from supply there is a first auto transformer now see here this is all your supply now you can see here there is one phase neutral there is another phase neutral so where will you do the connections because we have provided an auto transformer for this circuit if you connect between these two what they have written here 230 volts ac means you will get a fixed supply okay so but what we require for this experiment we require variable supply see here they have mentioned 0 to 230 volts so if you start your connections from here this connections include the auto transformer in the circuit so that is why for our experiment let us start our connections from here observe this carefully all of you okay so this will be our connection so first from the auto transformer now if i start my connections from here it is nothing but we are starting our connections from the output side of auto transformer so from the auto transformer it goes to resistance of 230 ohms one more thing for resistance of 230 ohms we are using this this is known as rheostat okay the main purpose of rheostat is you will get variable resistance in this 
so this is the called as rheostat it has three terminals these are the three terminals okay if you do the connections between these two terminals then the complete resistance value is included in the circuit if you connect only between these two terminals then only this part of resistance will be included in the circuit okay now how to know the, the value of this rheostat that can be found out by measuring its value in this multimeter okay so multimeter multimeter is a device where we can measure the multiple quantities so see here the multimeter initially is it in off condition now i will keep at ohms where is it see here now see the knob of this multimeter i kept at ohms because now we are going to measure the resistance now let us connect between these two terminals let us find out we can connect. because resistance does not have any polarity we can connect any like okay so if you connect between these two terminals we should select the paper terminal yes now you can see here what is the value of resistance it is showing 0.477 kilo ohms what does it mean what is the value of this resistance it is 477 ohms approximately okay so the value of this resistance is 477 ohms it is showing it as 0.477 kilo ohms means nothing but uh, 477 ohms so that is the total value of resistance now how much we require here in the circuit it is written as 230 ohms we require so if we measure between these two now let us see approximately see here approximately we are getting 230 see it is varying its value is varying so let us take it as 230 ohms so when we do connection for this experiment you need to connect between these two terminals only half value of resist rheostat should be used okay now so after this you can off this multimeter now we don't require any multimeter let us start our connections so our connections will be starting from the phase so there is a phase and neutral here not plus and minus because we are using the single phase supply so from phase 2 rheostat one end so this end i am using rheostat one end so this is how the connections are observe all of you carefully and see rheostat another end see here i am connecting to the middle terminal we are using only this part So rheostat other end is connected to rheostat other end is connected to choke coil. So here they have represented R and L for the choke coil in the circuit. Okay, so this is the choke coil in the panel. There will be internal resistance whether they have represented or not. Okay, so from here we will be connecting here. Always red indicates the phase, black indicates neutral. Okay, now so one more wire will be. from negative so you can connect any way because it is a ac supply polarities are not important only for dc supply you should take care of polarities okay so this portion is completed so now we have completed the series circuit now what should we do we need to connect the voltmeters see here how many voltmeters are there three voltmeters the name of the experiment itself is by using three voltmeter method so one voltmeter across the supply one voltmeter across the rheostat and one voltmeter across the choke so for voltmeters we can just use the uh, thin wires so one voltmeter across supply this one so i will take here see here on the panel itself there are three voltmeters v1 v2 v3 digital voltmeters so let us consider v1 so i am connecting this v1 across the supply this is our supply right so positive to positive like phase to phase neutral to neutral so this v1 is across supply next what is your uh, uh, v2 v2 is across rheostat rheostat so because the rheostat you cannot provide the knob so you can connect with this thick wire only see the connections observe the connections connections are very important here readings are easy
see now i have connected v2 across rheostat connections should be tight if you pull you can you should pull and check it it should not come out okay in between the experiment if it if it comes out it is uh, a danger okay and uh, one more voltmeter across the choke coil so here we will connect so this the third voltmeter we have connected across the choke coil so from here to here and one more from here to here so these are the connections understood all of you then now let us start how to conduct the experiment so first make sure that your auto transformer position is at initial position that means it should be at zero now switch on the supply see now the supply is on now switch on the auxiliary supply also you can see all the voltmeter read read zero okay see now the uh, reading of all the voltmeters shows zero now what we should do so see here the procedure is first we should vary this auto transformer and set 100 volts in the source supply voltage so we have connected supply voltage we have connected the voltmeter v1 across the supply okay so uh, v1 is known as supply voltage okay see the tabular column v suffix yes this is known as supply voltage so here we should note down the reading of v1 so initially by varying auto transformer we should set the supply voltage as 100 volts okay similarly totally we should take a three readings so first initially we should set it as 100 volts next 150 volts then 200 volts that's it not more than that because the maximum voltage is 230 volts so just enough to uh, take up to 200 volts now let us uh, set uh, the supply voltage as 100 volts by varying the auto transformer see here i am varying the knob of auto transformer and seeing here so till this shows uh, v1 shows 100 volts i will be varying the auto transformer so slowly you should vary you should adjust to 100 volts yes exactly it is 100 just varying now v1 is 100 volts we have already noted down vl means voltage across the choke coil so which voltmeter we have connected see there which voltmeter we have connected across the choke coil we have connected v3 so vl so here vl you should note down the voltmeter three readings so what is the reading there it is 71.76 uh, okay so it is continuously varying you just take one value next vr it is nothing but voltage across rheostat so which voltmeter here we have connected v2 we have connected across rheostat so what is the reading 61.2 so this is v2 so it is 61.2 so in the same way again you vary the supply voltage to 150 volts take the remaining 2 voltmeter readings again vary to 200 volts take the remaining 2 readings so after completing all the three readings now what you have to do you should minimize the auto transformer see here you should minimize the auto transformer to zero and then you should switch off the supply like this now let us do the hmm. now let us see how to do the calculations i have taken one reading i will show you the detailed calculations for one reading next so we have taken vs vl vr values now what is the cos phi how should we calculate cos phi so cos phi formula it is given here vs square minus vr square minus vl square divided by 2 vr vl so what is vs 100 square minus vr is 61.2 square minus vl is 71.76 whole square divided by 2 into 61.2 into 71.76 so using the calculator we can calculate 61.2 square minus 71.76 square so that is 1105.06 divided by 2 into 61.2 into 71.76 so that is 8783.42 so it is nothing but 0105.06 divided by 8783.42 so 0.1258 this is your cos phi 0.1258 you can calculate what is the phi value that is cos inverse of 0.1258 so you will get 
cos inverse of answer is equal to 82.77 degrees so cos phi here you can write it as 0.1258 now next one is you need to calculate impedance how do you calculate impedance z is equal to vl by i first we should know what is i so i can be calculated as i is equal to vr by r here only it is given okay so vr we have calculated what is vr 61.2 divided by r in the circuit we, it is give, we should take r as 230 ohms value of the rheostat okay so let us take it as 230 only now what is the value of current 61.2 divided by 230 0.266 amperes this is the value of current now substitute this here so z is equal to this is impedance of the inductor or the choke okay z is equal to vl by l what is vl 71.76 divided by 0.266 so you will get 761 0.266 269.77 ohms this is your impedance okay next resistance they have asked it is 230 ohms and this is a 269.77 now what is this small r small r is the internal resistance of your choke coil see here this is r and l this is what you need to find out in this experiment okay so how do you calculate small r see here formula is given r is equal to z cos phi so uh, resistance of choke coil r is equal to z cos phi what is z 269.77 into cos phi we got 0.1258 So, two sixty nine point seven seven into zero point one two five eight. It is thirty three point nine three ohms. That is the internal resistance of your choke coil. Then, how do you calculate X L? X L is equal to see the formula Z sine phi. Z sine phi. That is two sixty nine point seven seven into sine of phi. We have calculated and kept no eighty two point seven seven. 82.77 degrees so how much it is 269.77 into sin 82.77 ah 82.77 so you will get 267.62 ohms this is inductive reactance you need to find out l we know that xl is equal to 2 pi fl so l is equal to xl by 2 pi f What is XL? 267.62 divided by 2 pi into. Usually the frequency of single phase AC is 50. Now how much you will get? So 267 divided by 2 pi into 50. So 0. Point, approximately 0.85 Henry. This is the value of your inductance. Okay. So you need to measure resistance. Therefore. Resistance of choke coil is thirty three point nine three ohms. Inductance of choke coil is zero point eight five Henry. So, like this, you need to calculate for the remaining two cases also. Okay, and finally, you can take the average value of inductor, or you can take just one value. So, your value of inductor should be zero point eight five Henry. This is how you need to do the calculations. Okay, so this is about the experiment of measurement of resistance and inductance of a choke coil using three volt meter method.